It's Sunday. I'm Sarah Baldwin. Welcome to another Sunday with Sarah. Uh, it's May. It's beautiful here in Maine right now. The for I'm looking out at blooming forsythia. The trees are greening. Spring comes late here in Maine, but it's finally here, and spring is my favorite season, and I think the most beautiful time of year. The days are very long and bright, and um, yesterday I attended the May Festival, May Day celebration at our local Waldor Waldorf School, Ashwood Waldorf School in Rockport, Maine, where I was an early childhood teacher for 10 years. And it was so lovely to see and to be back with my community, see children there who I've known since they were babies now getting ready to graduate from eighth grade and seeing new families who I don't know, new babies, people coming into the community, and I was just filled with joy um, being there. So uh, I was inspired to talk to you today about festivals and um, um, seasonal celebrations, which are a big part of Waldorf education. And why is this so? Why is this so important? Um, I think that the need for festivals, the need to for ritual to connect with with something greater than ourselves is a human need. Um, and for a lot of families, it's it's about community. Uh, I think a lot of of families are drawn to Waldorf education because of the sense of community. Because I believe very strongly in the adage, "It takes a village to raise a child." I don't think that could be more true. And a lot of us today live in isolation. We often live in cities without family nearby, uh, without a strong community. So I think a lot of families, when they discover Waldorf education, are drawn to the sense of community that, that lives there, parents and teachers and, and, and children. And especially for children, seasonal festivals give them context to the year. The, what we call the rhythm of the year. In one of my earlier videos, I talked about the importance of rhythm for children. We have a rhythm of the day, a rhythm of the week, um, and we have seasonal rhythms in the rhythm of the year. And so holidays and festivals help children understand the context of the year and, oh, it's this time of year again, whether it's we're celebrating Christmas or May Day, um, brings them greater awareness of, of the yearly cycles. Um, so if you are a family, if you uh, practice a religion or have a faith, uh, I assume that you probably celebrate those, those religious holidays and it's a wonderful thing for children, whether it's Christmas or Hanukkah, Passover, Easter, solstice, um, that, that becomes part of your child's childhood memories and traditions and, and can be very deep and meaningful. But you may come from a family that you're not part of a church or you don't practice a religion. And the kinds of festivals that are, are commonly practiced in a Waldorf school or among Waldorf families um, are more seasonal in nature and allow you to participate whatever your faith. Um, and, and if it's just connecting with the, the power of nature and, and the, the coming of the sun and the, at the solstice, um, these can all be very, very meaningful as well. Um, festivals and celebrations lift us out of the day-to-day, -day, of our day-to-day -day busyness and the ordinariness of life and, and bring with it a connection again, to something more powerful and deeper. Um, some of the festivals commonly celebrated in the Waldorf School include Michaelmas, uh, which is at the, the very end of September, which is where a change of seasons, again, as we're heading toward the winter and darkness and, and mustering all our strength as we head into that time of year. There might be, um, there's often a lantern walk around the, the um, old Christian festival of Martinmas, 
Uh, again, that's about light, bringing light into the dark and children making lanterns and gathering at night, taking a walk in the darkness, carrying their lantern and singing songs. Um, one of my earlier videos, I talked about the Advent Spiral, which comes at the winter solstice. Again, another festival about bringing light into the darkness. But now, now here it's spring, and the May Day festival that I attended yesterday, similar to that practice in a lot of Walter schools with a big maypole, maypole dancing, where different classes have practiced for weeks um, dances around the maypole, and the older children would be practicing music. Those who play a violin in, in Waldorf schools, all children learn string instruments beginning in, in third or fourth grade. And so they've been learning maybe fiddle tunes and seasonal songs and to accompany the children while they dance. The younger children will do simpler dances. And um, as they go up through the grades, they'll, they will learn more complex dances that results in a weaving, intricate weaving of the ribbons around the maypole. And uh, I took some videos there yesterday, so you can see some of what I'm talking about. Uh, and some of the children also learn Morris dances. And all of this is to, to welcome the reawakening of the earth and the return of the sun and the warming and lengthening of the days as we head towards summer. So involving children in whatever way, whether your children are in a Waldorf school or not, um, Again, you can practice festivals at home, holidays and festivals. Involve your children in preparation, whether it's making food or learning seasonal songs, um, decorating. These are all soul food for children. And, and I invite you to just remember your own, your own holiday traditions as a child and, and how much meaning they may have had for you. And what traditions from your own child would you like to to bring into your family's life now with your own children. Um, and if you don't, say you don't have a church or you don't have a, a Waldorf school, maybe, um, and you don't have family nearby, uh, you can find like-minded families. Reach out. Find like-minded families and, and create festivals together with them, whether it's a lantern walk, an advent spiral, or building your own maypole. Um, this could be a wonderful activity. There's a book I highly recommend called Festivals, Family, and Food. Um, we will be offering it soon at Bella Luna Toys. Be on the lookout for that. It has, uh, it's a collection of recipes and songs and craft ideas for festivals that you can observe throughout the year, seasonal festivals. So I hope this gives you a better understanding of the role of, of festivals in Waldorf education. I hope it uh, gives you a little food for thought about celebrating festivals with your own children and inspires you to create traditions to celebrate the rhythm of the year with your own families. So once again, welcome your comments, questions, leave them as a comment on the blog, and let me know what festivals do you celebrate with your families. Uh, share those with us too. So wishing you a beautiful, wonderful spring. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.